Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nicole and today we are going to talk about skincare. So I always get questions on how I improve my skin because I think a lot of people know that my skin used to be super bad and bad as in like a drastic difference like skin tone, a drastic difference I used to have a lot of cystic acne as well and I was actually really really discouraged by the condition of my skin So one thing that I feel that is very important in terms of taking care of your skin is maintenance because my mom always tell me like you have to maintain your skin because it's going to be good for you now and until you're like much older besides sleeping enough and drinking water you also need to maintain your skin with skincare so you have to be really really um careful with what you put in your skin because some of you might have very sensitive skin i have sensitive skin as well so you have to be careful what kind of makeup you put on your face and what kind of skincare if a product is not good for you like you should consider changing it okay so if you're curious whether you have sensitive skin usually some signs are like dryness rosacea and like eczema and stuff i get like itches on and off so i do have sensitive skin like i get like red patches sometimes and it gets like really itchy so today's products that i'm gonna be putting into a day and night routine are products for sensitive skin and you want to lean towards products that are more soothing for your skin and more gentle for your skin not too harsh so it's up to every individual to try out different products before you actually um, settle for one sometimes two people who have sensitive skin one person might be allergic to a certain ingredient and you might not be so today's video I'm gonna feature products from Kundal they are actually a K-beauty brand this range is actually perfect for sensitive skin this is perfect for damaged skin and skin that gets irritated easily. Actually, my mom came in my room the other day and she's like, why is your skin so glowy and bright? So you can see the difference between the first picture before I started using the products and this is the difference a week later. I feel like my skin tone changed. And I can see a difference especially when um, I use makeup the next day of using their products at night because I've observed that like my makeup sits so much better on my skin because it's moisturized the day before. So the Kuna Derma range actually um, incorporates three main ingredients. One which is Sika. This helps to soothe irritated skin. And then the next ingredient is called Pantanol. So Pantanol helps to strengthen the skin layer, moisturize it and it also helps with controlling excessive oil in your skin. So that helps me a lot. I hate blotting my face. And the third main ingredient is red clover. This helps with the brightening of your face. That's why like, I observed that my skin tone was way uh, more radiant and bright. So they also have retinol in their products which helps with anti-aging and moisturizing. So now we're gonna start with the day routine. When washing your face, use the recommended and adequate amount of product. Wet your hands and work the product within your hands to create some foam and gently start going through your face in a circular and upwards motion. Use lukewarm water as it causes less irritation to your skin and you can also wash your neck and jawline as those areas are more prone to dirt. So the cleansing foam is actually one of my favourites in this range. I always go for facial washes that aren't too harsh because like I don't want to strip the natural oils from my face and it's very very important to um, keep a good balance of oil on your face because if you remove too much oil from your face you will end up getting pimples as well so I make sure that all my cleansing foams aren't too drying uh, you can definitely feel after you wash your face because some cleansing foams after you wash your face you can feel like this squeaky effect on your face. Okay, so after cleansing your face in the day, you want to apply the toner. So the toner actually balances the pH level in your skin and it preps your face for the absorption of the skincare that you're gonna put after. Just make sure that my skincare has ceramide inside and this toner has ceramide inside. So ceramide actually helps to moisturize your face and give your face that water content because uh, some people naturally don't have that much ceramide in their body. Some people use too harsh of skincare products as well. So that results in them stripping away the natural 
like moisture. Okay, and also there's betaine inside. I hope I pronounced it correctly. So this regulates your skin moisture. People use toner to take away like the dead skin cells and it allows for better absorption of products you're gonna use after. Then after the toner, we will go in with the ampule. Ampule actually contains centella. This actually um, increases your hydration and soothes um, irritated and compromised skin. When I apply this, it actually feels and smells a little bit like tea tree oil. I personally feel one to two drops of ampule is enough to cover your whole face. A little bit honestly always goes a long way, so keep massaging it until it's completely absorbed into your skin. After the ampule, you want to use the Sika Repair Cream, and I really really like this product as well because this actually has UV protection and it also helps to like brighten my skin. This helps with your wrinkles as well. It's like a layer that brightens up your skin like instantly. Apply a few drops of repair cream over your face so you can spread it out evenly. Work in an outwards motion as to avoid wrinkles and you can lift your skin as well. Be gentle around your eye area as tugging will also cause wrinkles. Now we're gonna go in with the facial mist. I usually like to apply my facial mist before I blend my foundation or concealer because it helps blend it nicely while giving it a moisturized finish. When you want to refresh your face, you can also spray it or you can spray it like um, after your skincare at night. Alright, so that's all for my day routine. Now we will go to my night routine. So after a long day, I will remove my makeup and I always, always use micellar water. So one reason why I use micellar water is because I have eyelash extensions and if I use oil removers, it's gonna cause my extensions to fall off much quicker. And I feel after I started using micellar water, my skin um, condition also improved. So Kunal's pH balancing cleansing water actually helps to remove impurities, helps to remove your makeup um, while keeping and maintaining the pH level like of your face. Stamp your cotton wool with the cleansing water and you can start removing your makeup. To cleanse your makeup, remember to not be too rough as the skin on our face is particularly thin. Don't forget to remove the makeup around your jaw area as well. I usually like to double cleanse my makeup and you will realize that sometimes you actually forget to cover some areas. <laughs> For the toner, dab a few drops of toner so that your cotton wool is not too wet. Swipe it over your entire face, avoiding the lips and delicate eye area. Feel free to also go around your neck. So I sleep in a cold air-conditioned room, like at, I don't know, 22? I do this once a week, which is um, putting on a mask. Their Ampule Facial Mask has 30 grams of concentrated ampule and you can feel it especially when you pull out the mask and you can feel there's so much like goodness in a mask. Gently remove the mask from the plastic sheet and unfold it to fit your face. Adjust it so it covers your face evenly and wait for 10 to 20 minutes. Remove the sheet mask and massage and work the remaining contents into your face so that you can ensure the best absorption of product. Their mask is also 100% plant derived and vegan. So after the mask, I will use the ampule again, the same one that I use in the day. So the last step of the whole night routine would be the Sika Soothing Cream. Apply the soothing cream evenly around your face. Usually I place it on the four corners, my forehead, chin and cheeks. You can also apply some product on your neck as well and proceed on to massaging it in an upwards motion. So this is my day and night skincare routine for sensitive skin. So your face can look hydrated, it can look um, dewy, it can look radiant. So all the products that I mentioned from Kundal are available online and they are also available in um, Guardian. You guys can check out the links below in the description box. You guys can follow the exact steps if you purchase their products as well. And I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned some stuff. I hope it was informative. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in my next. Bye!